A SpongeBob spin-off series titled Camp Coral is about to enter production and it'll focus on a young version of the iconic character as he goes to sleepaway camp. While I already made a general video talking about the actual details surrounding the series, it's also important to mention something else. Even though we don't actually know too much about the upcoming prequel, there's a glaring problem that needs some more discussion, but what exactly is that you may ask? Well, Camp Coral may be disrespecting the legacy of the late series creator Steven Hillenburg. Now of course, as fans, it's almost impossible to know his exact stance on Spongebob spinoffs, but doing a little digging into some old interviews, there's one from 2009 where he was asked about potential spinoffs. This show is about Spongebob, he's the core element and is about how he relates to the other characters. Patrick by himself might be a bit too much, so I don't see any spinoffs. And that's not all, when he was first developing Spongebob, he had to talk with Nickelodeon executives about what the series would be. At the beginning, people give you notes and you have to fight back. It was a new show and no one knows if a new show will work. Nick had decided it didn't want any more animal shows and wanted stories with kids like Hey Arnold. They actually wanted to make Arnold Under the Sea and make Spongebob a child. I said no, that's not the show. He specifically says he wouldn't want Spongebob being a child, but hey, that's what's happening in this upcoming prequel series. There's another person who knows Hillenberg's thoughts pretty well and what he would think about this Camp Coral situation. The man I'm talking about is Paul Tibbet, which is a name you almost definitely recognize if you've been a fan of the series for a while. This isn't just an ordinary Spongebob crew member though, because after Hillenburg left in 2004, he entrusted Paul as the new showrunner. Paul took on many different roles such as writing and voice acting, but just being able to oversee everything in that high position of showrunner is a clear indication of him and Hillenburg's relationship. They obviously spent a lot of time together while working on Spongebob, but you may be wondering why I'm going on and on about this. Well, it's because Paul made a tweet briefly discussing how he feels about the situation and it definitely paints a pretty bad picture for Nickelodeon being an awful greedy company. I do not mean any disrespect to my colleagues who are working on this show. They are good people and talented artists, but this is some greedy, lazy executiving right here, and they all know full well Steve would have hated this. Shame on them. Now let me remind you, Paul knew Steve very well, so it seems like he knew what Steve thought about these kinds of topics. Of course, it's cool to see a show like Spongebob expand into something more, but if Nickelodeon goes ahead with the spinoffs after Hillenburg passed away, you start wondering what's really happening. I mean, Spongebob has been extremely popular for more than a few years, so you'd start asking why there wasn't a spinoff until literally 20 years after the show began, which is also when the original creator is no longer alive. This may just be an awful coincidence, but the fact that Paul Tibbet himself is saying Steve would have hated this? I don't know, that's just really disappointing. Nick is a company, and obviously they want to make a ton of money with recognizable names like Spongebob. Continuing the original series is one thing, but making everything CG and aging down the characters could easily take away some of the amazing charm that the show's been giving us since 1999. It's also really hard to support a spin-off when the original creator wouldn't have even liked it. Even if Camp Coral ends up being good, the fact of the matter is that Nick is disrespecting Hillenburg. Yeah, I still want to see how they end up making a CG animated prequel series for Spongebob of all shows, but it hurts knowing that Hillenburg wouldn't support this. There's not much we can do about the situation though. Though, the spin-off is happening even if a lot of people don't like the idea. If it ends up getting bad ratings on TV, then Nick will be more likely to cancel it. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and comment below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.